Got the sheets mounted on the wall. Now I'm gonna see how well just using a, basically a sawzall to cut this angle will go. Got my safety glasses on this time. jagged and actually my bigger concern is I don't know if it got it flush enough and it's really easy to cut your rafter so maybe a different blade a metal blade might have been better less chance of cutting the wood might have been a cleaner cut I know I guess it was a little bit simpler it was a little bit quicker but if I had to say one thing about this job I've taken too many shortcuts so in hindsight, I think I would have done it the other way. Just take my time. This could be a good way of doing some intricate cutting vents in. I think it'll be good for the door. So it, it has some possibilities, but it's just a really jagged cut. The other challenge doing it this way is now I need to get the tape and profiles in after the fact. So now I'm up on a ladder. Just enough room to kind of slide this tape in. Got the age profile to contend with. Probably shouldn't have put the age profile in yet. I might need to come loosen that out. I'm going to mark this and cut it. profile is a lot harder to get on these jagged edge and the tape wasn't as flush so a couple reasons maybe not do it this way One thing I do like better about this side is I ran the U-profile on top of the H. 
Now the roof will be on this, but there won't be much of an overhang. This will be one of the few places that I will put some silicone. In general, I don't like using a lot of silicone. Um, usually just keeps water in as opposed to letting it vent out, but here's where I'll want some. And earlier when I was talking about my panels not lining up well, that first one I put on definitely overlaps more than I'd like. 